All right, what's going on, folks? Today we're going to be covering the Spikes Crusader Lower. Uh, this Crusader Lower's gotten some flack, um, you know, with the Crusader Rifle. People are saying, you know, it's anti-Muslim. Whatever, man, it's it's a, it's a rifle. <laughs> you know, some people like Spikes, some people don't. They make, you know, affordable lowers are much better quality than an Anderson. Um, one of the first things you'll notice besides, you know, the Crusader Cross is it has an integral trigger guard. So, <clears throat> that saves one step in your build, and that's honestly where a lot of people will break the rifle, you know, the little hinges down here. Um, they won't put, like, I don't know, I usually put, like, a book, um, get a bunch of pages from a book, put that in there, you know, start the roll pin so you don't break any of those uh, wheels off. So, that's nice. Um, you don't need to go out and get a mag pull trigger guard or, you know, anything like that. Um, another thing you'll notice here... I get the light, um, box piece, bellum, and then kind of the selector is, sorry, this thing's been safety checked, is Deuce Vault. And for those of you that don't speak Latin, <sighs> what that means is peace, war, and God wills it. So, um, you know, if you've seen the movie Kingdom of Heaven, you know, you got that whole entire God wills it. Um, overall, you know, it's got a good fit. Um, your machine tolerances are pretty decent on it. So, you're not going to have your a lot of play between your rifle. And as we all know, the less movement you have in your weapon, the more accurate it's going to be. Um, I got this as a Christmas present for my dad. Um, He's been piggybacking one of my other lowers. And uh, that I'm building for my Go to Hell rifle. And uh, he actually really loves this Timmy trigger that I have in there. I had in my other, um, my three gun rifle. And I bought a Geisley Super Dynamic three gun trigger. And instead of getting rid of the trigger, I'm like, hey, you know, my dad, you know, he doesn't have his own lower on this upper that one of his buddies gave him. Um, so I figured why not throw it in there. You know, he likes, you know, the Crusader lower, you know, it's kind of a cool deal. Um, so anyways, you know, if you're in the market for a lower, um, these are costing a little bit more money right now. Um, I'm sure, you know, the fact that, you know, this is here is driving up the price just a tiny bit. I know Anderson's bringing out some lowers, um, with that. Um, so they're probably getting theirs from the same, uh, distributor that, you know, of course companies mill their own out. Um, so that's where you see the lot of difference, um, because these aren't built, these are forged. And, um... <clears throat> You know, you know they're cool. You know, it's yeah. You know, some people say it's a gimmick, but at the same time, you know, a lower, you know, it's still functional despite whatever stuffs on the side. Um, you can also get ones right here. It'll have um, a psalm on it. I can't remember which one it is, but uh, those run a little bit more expensive. I think this was 115 um, cash. So. I didn't mind paying a little bit extra. Yeah, I could have got a cheaper arrow or um, gone online and found a spikes. But, you know, hey, 115 out the door at a gun show, you know, ain't bad on this. So if you're looking for a spikes lower or any lower in general, um, check this one out. It's pretty cool.